Let's not focus on or think about my hair through the duration of this video. I think that that would be best. What's up guys? It's Sophie. Today I'm going to be doing another q and A. I just feel like it has been way too long since I've done a Q&A. I guess you could call this a fall Q&A because the last Q&A I did was like in the summer, I don't know, going into like the school year. So it wasn't like fall yet. Even though I don't think that any of the questions are fall related, I read over some of them and I don't think that any are fall related, but you know, it's in fall. I'm wearing like the only fall sweater that I own. But yeah, I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions and I got a bunch and I'm not going to be able to answer all of them. If you did not get to ask me a question or you were just not a part of this Q&A, then make sure to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter because I might ask you guys on Twitter one time. And also make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel because I might even ask you guys here so yeah that is basically it we are just going to hop right into the questions I have them on my phone and let's get started have you read any books what's your favorite I have a lot of favorite books so I'm just gonna like think of some that I really really like Eleanor and Park definitely one of them that's like the last book I read that I really really remember enjoying it's kind of a funny story those are like my top two probably it's kind of a funny story because like that is the book that when I was in school I would literally not pay attention in class because I would be reading like I was that kid while reading that book I literally read it over a year ago so far I don't think that I've read any other books that have topped that book so I think you should totally go read it's kind of a funny story if you have not already favorite youtuber I have a bunch of favorite youtubers Monica and Shelby Church I really love them Jill Cimarelli who else do I really oh simply Nessa I love simply Nessa 15 I have a bunch of favorite youtubers but I don't think I have like one favorite like I'm just naming the youtubers that whenever I see their videos in my subscription box like I stop what I'm doing and just click on their video so that's probably those youtubers what's your favorite drink from Starbucks or Costa I don't know what Costa is if you know what Costa is let me know but from Starbucks I'm obsessed with the passion tea lemonade which is really really weird because it's getting into like cold weather and it's fall and I don't know why I'm drinking an ice cold drink but yeah the passion tea lemonade I just can't turn that up I really want to try their Halloween drink I don't even think that that's like there anymore like whenever Starbucks comes out with drinks I'm always like the last one to try it and I think that the Halloween like vampire one isn't even there anymore if it is I should get it like while I still can um other than the passion tea lemonade I don't know the caramel flan latte passion tea lemonade like nothing can top that to me what's your favorite movie Halloween custom I don't know what you mean by Halloween custom okay but yeah I don't know but my favorite movie is probably like crazy that's like one of my favorite movies ever. I barely watch movies, like I mainly watch TV and YouTube. I barely ever watch movies. What are you looking forward to in 2016? Making really awesome, cool new videos. Probably like following my New Year's resolutions. In 2015, I actually didn't even make like an actual list. I just said some stuff that I was gonna do, never even did it. I think I forgot about some of the things that I said. I wrote a note in my iPhone and I think it actually got deleted, but but this year I think I'm actually going to write a list and like put it up on my wall and then actually try to follow it so like doing those things I'm looking forward to that it's gonna be fun I'm gonna try my hardest and then also yeah making new videos that's gonna be fun who is your favorite actress Leah Michelle that's my everything that's my favorite actress I could talk about her for hours so you know I'm just gonna end it right here so Leah Michelle she's my favorite actress that's don't even get me started I love her so much what was your favorite part of 2015 starting my YouTube channel that was probably like my favorite part oh also meeting Leah Michelle because I did meet her and I also made a vlog about meeting her which I'm going to be putting up soon probably sometime this week I might even do like a story time because like the story of like what happened was actually pretty funny like that entire day was pretty hilarious so I might make a story time about that like probably sometime in the future but the vlog that I made will probably go up sometime this week I don't know why are you goals I'm really not but thank you I don't think I'm goals because today I tried doing like world's simplest task which is cracking an egg and I actually failed at that insert a picture of me failing at that this morning um so thank you for calling me goals but I feel like I'm not goals because of like that incident and many other things that I have done what country slash city would you like to visit 
lots of love from Scotland. Oh, I love you too. I don't know about country, but I know a city that I would love to visit is definitely London. As for the country, I can't think of one off the top of my head. Probably a country in either Australia or Africa. I would love to visit either one of those places. Where's your favorite spot to record? When I actually first started my YouTube channel, I started on my bed, but then I realized the way that my room is shaped and the way that the windows are, the lighting is just not happening on my bed. It's just not working out. I do have studio lights now, so I might try moving to my bed when it starts to get darker and it gets more of like that Christmassy fall type vibe. But then I might sit on my bed like with my Christmas lights blurred out in the background. Like that would be really nice. But for now, I like filming right in front of my bed, right in front of my desk and my nightstand, which I'm covering up and you can't even see, but it's sort of messy, so. But yeah, this is like my favorite spot right now. I just sit in my desk chair and set up my studio lights right behind my camera and then I I just film because this is sort of like my area I share a room with my sister if you guys didn't even know I have a sister all of her side is like to that part of the room but this is like my part of the room and you probably don't even know what I'm talking about so I might do a room tour soon and like show you guys so yeah this is my favorite spot what's your opinion on the ghetto label in African Americans okay personally I think that it's wrong and that it should not be used against a specific race even though it hasn't been like officially stated like oh the word ghetto is just used for African Americans like it used to not be used for that it actually used to not be used as an adjective at all or like a way to insult people or to like categorize them the word ghetto actually used to be a noun and it was used as a noun to describe a particular place that was occupied by like a minority or a certain group of people but now it's used as like an adjective to describe people like you're so ghetto or like that's so ghetto so I don't think that it should be used to like describe any type of race or particular type of group I don't really want to go into it that much because it's really controversial and but yeah my opinion is that it's wrong and that against that particular group of people I think that it's wrong and that it should not be used although people like now use it as a joke I don't find it as a joke what is your biggest fear my biggest fear is probably being separated from my family I've been away from them like obviously when I go to summer camp I'm away from them but I mean like separated like where I don't know the next time that I'm gonna see them if I was taken away from them or they were taken away from me or something happened to separate all of us that would be my biggest 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 fear or at least one of my biggest fears but like when I hear biggest fear that's what comes into mind what's your race slash ethnicity Haitian and for the last question what is your favorite thing to get at Chipotle recently I've been getting the quesadillas the steak quesadillas and that is like that's perfect to me but then I also love bowls I haven't gotten tacos in a really long time I think that the quesadillas have like replaced the tacos for me okay because I actually want to get Chipotle after I'm done filming this video um we're just gonna end it right here that was my fall q a or at least just like my q a that i have not done in a really long time i really love answering you guys' questions if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below video requests that is my number one thing i am running out of video ideas because i've done like the majority of them so if there's anything in particular that you want to see please don't comment down christmas video ideas though because i'm not starting that yet although i'm very excited for christmas it is not anywhere close so i know that some people are like starting christmas videos but i'm probably not gonna start that until probably the beginning of december at least so i will not be doing any christmas videos throughout november thanksgiving is like in a while and i'm just trying to do like chill you know more sit down videos maybe more comedy videos so comment down like a bunch of random video ideas it does not have to be holiday themed or anything themed it could just be anything that you guys want to see also choose one of the questions that i answer and answer it yourself down below because I can learn more things about you. But yeah, that was it for my video. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you all this Saturday with another new video. Bye!